Sound Tigers practiced Monday had a feverish pace and a sense of urgency as the Sound Tigers came away with only one out of a possible four points on the weekend. And with the holiday break coming up and the Sound Tigers still in the basement of the Northeast Division and just out of the playoff race in a crowded Eastern Conference, the need for results is readily apparent with the team. Well, as far as the practice, it was the work ethic I thought uh, was outstanding. Um, you know, we showed up, we were focused, execution was excellent. Uh, they competed, they skated, they moved hard, or they moved the puck very, very well as far as defensemen. Uh, it was everything you'd want, and if you translate that into the game, in the 60-minute effort rather than the 20-minute effort, you walk out with more wins and losses. Uh, and that has to be the norm, not not a response after laying an egg on the weekend. Yeah, you know that's part of it. Uh, we're in we're in a bit of a bit of a struggle right now, but uh, you know we're going to come out of it. And we're going to come out of it the right way, and and uh, we're going to play the right way, and continue to work on the process like we talk about every day, and and we're going to get there, and we're going to make a swing going the other way. You know, we got a group of leaders in there, and it's uh, it's uh, it's exciting. I think we're we're ready to turn a page right now. We're right on that brink, and it's uh, it's going to be fun here on the other side of it. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, we're in a bit of a tough spot right now. Um, I mean, we've we've brought this on ourselves, I think, and really, I think we just gotta it just stems back to uh, to hard work, and that's basically what we've been uh, trying to focus on the last couple of days here. And um, I think um, you know we gotta find a way to 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 work hard for full 60 minutes and um, until we start doing that I don't think we're going to see the uh, the results that we want. Um, right now I'm just looking forward to the next game obviously going back to Norfolk is going to be a lot of fun and, um, you know it's going to be important for for this team to get back on the winning winning column and they're in the winning column and um, we're just going to have to play the way we did in that third period last night and if we keep doing that I think uh, the good things will come. You know, obviously getting used to these guys too. It's it's important to, you know, do th little things in practice just to get to know one another and wh what they like and what they don't like and um, how they like to play. And as soon as I get that going, I think uh, I think I'll even get better. So that's you know that's my plan for this week. I just want to get to know the guys a little more, even off the ice, um, and obviously on the ice, and and you know hopefully be ready to go for for Norfolk on Friday. The Sound Tigers have what may be their toughest road trip coming up as they travel down to Norfolk for a doubleheader Friday and Saturday this weekend before returning for a 3 p.m. matinee on Sunday afternoon versus the Worcester Sharks. We talked to Coach Thompson, new addition Corey Conacher, Harry Zolnerchuk, and Captain Aaron Ness about how this might be the gut check the team needs. You're going to go through ups and downs throughout the season. I mean, early in the year, we were rolling through pretty easily, um, you know, getting wins. And, and now we've kind of hit some hurdles and some bumps and the bounces haven't gone our way. And, and we've been inconsistent throughout the games. This is going to be a tough road trip. Uh, we got two games in Norfolk, back on a bus all night long, and then playing our third game in three nights here against Worcester. Every game's a war. Every game's a challenge. Make sure you're doing the simple things, the little things, especially at the start of the game. The first five minutes is, is crucial on the road because – you know, you, you want to take their fans out of it, and you just want to get that um, momentum swing in, in, in your favor. And, uh, you know, it's it, Norfolk can be a good team. Like I said last night, it, it, it's going to be important for us to, you know, play the way that we did uh, uh, in that third period. Yeah, yeah, we need to uh, we need to find two points Friday night. Um, that's all we can focus on right now. I mean, we can't even look at the road trip or, or what is ahead in that weekend. We just we really got to just focus on uh, one game at a time. And Friday will be our first chance to uh, to kind of, you know, set things straight here and, and get back on uh, the right foot. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's difficult. It's not easy. You know, you get back uh, early that morning and play, play in the afternoon. But, you know, we're all pros. That's part of the game. It's part of uh, it's part of the schedule here. So we're, uh, we're ready to battle through that. And, uh, you know, it's an exciting challenge. The Sound Tigers look to have a successful weekend after losing ground in the standings. The Sound Tigers return to Webster Bank Sunday at 3 p.m. to take on the Worcester Sharks. You can get all your tickets at SoundTigers.com or at the Click It or Ticket box office. If you can't join us in person, you can catch all the action at AHLLive.com. For Sound Tigers TV, I'm Chuck Scott.